Kids and Outdoor Safety 101. Keeping the kids inside when the weather is warm outside is much easier said than done, but with so many dangers lurking far and near, many parents are hesitant to let their little ones enjoy the wonders of summer as freely as perhaps they did as children. The dangers that lurk outdoors for children are very much realistic in today's day and age. It seems that kids aren't safe playing with toys, from predators and bullies, and even from poisonous bugs and insects or plants. Rather than take away the enjoyment of being a child, take outdoor safety into your hands. There is a multitude of ways to keep your child safe while they play outdoors. The important tip to remember as a parent is that your children are full of energy. No matter how much your back aches or legs hurt, they are ready to go, 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 and go some more. It is imperative that you're aware of the energy level that your child has and that you're always with a watchful eye. Kids are curious, sneaky, and quick and in the blink of an eye can be in immediate danger before you even realize what's happened. Weather Kids love the warm days just as much as those when snow fills the ground. Each of these days puts significant risks on your child's well-being thanks to the extreme temperatures. But it is possible for your little ones to enjoy the great outdoors no matter what the season, as long as you are prepared. Minimize the amount of time your child spends outside during peak hours, generally 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Sunscreen is valuable in more ways than one. Apply it numerous times throughout the day, even during the winter. During cold days, wearing two or three layers is best since your child can unwrap as they become warm. During the summer, dress your child in light, breathable clothing. During the summer, hydration is of great importance. Ensure that your child drinks as much water as possible when it is hot outside. Playground safety. Parents oftentimes assume that playgrounds are safe for their kids, but this isn't always the case. Before you allow your child to swing on the monkey bars or take that trip down the slide, make sure that there is no damage to the equipment that might cause concern. Along with safe equipment, teach your child how to play safely along on the playground. Pushing, shoving, and other horseplay is a big no-no when on the playground, and your child should know that such behavior will not be tolerated. Swimming pool activity. There is no activity that brings more pleasure to a child during the summer than swimming. Whether you have a pool in the backyard to accommodate their needs for water or hit the nearest public pool or lake, it is imperative that you and your children are both aware of the dangers of water and treat it with respect. If you have a swimming pool at home, nothing is more important than placing a security gate around the fence. In seconds, a small child can drown inside of a pool even before you know what has happened. A locked gate can prevent this tragedy and keep you and everyone in the family safe and secure. It is imperative that you set and enforce rules for swimming, whether at home or away at another location. If your child doesn't obey the swimming rules, enforce the penalties as quickly as possible so that you might be able to prevent the same event from occurring in the future. No matter where your children are swimming, proper supervision at all times is imperative to keeping them safe. As mentioned, it takes only seconds for your child to drown, and even that moment that you look away to grab the telephone can prove tragic. Your child must be supervised and proper attention given any time they are near water. Don't go to the water without the proper safety equipment in hand. You need life jackets, floats, goggles, and many other safety items at the pool any time that you decide to spend the day in the water. These devices have proven to save lives, so do not visit the water without them in place. Are you CPR certified? Knowing how to respond in the event of a water emergency can make a world of difference in the outcome of the event. Anyone can learn the life-saving techniques offered in CPR. Make sure that you are one of those who receive the training because you never know when it could save the life of someone so close to you. Even the most experienced of swimmers can succumb to strong waters and tides. Don't think that your child had the swimming knowledge to escape any dangers. Take every possible precaution to safely enjoy the swimming pool all summer long. Visit the American Red Cross website for additional tips and information on swimming pool safety for children of all ages. Stranger Danger By now, your children should understand the importance of being aware of their surroundings and the people around them as well as how to spot unusual things that could signal trouble. Your child should understand how to identify a stranger, know his telephone number and address, and be able to call 911. Your child should also understand that there are dangers out there. Leaving your child in a sugar-coated world is very dangerous. The buddy system works. Ensure that your child never goes anywhere alone. Taking a friend along always reduces the danger that your child will face because two or more kids are more dangerous than one. 
Tell your child that it is important to trust their instincts if they think they are being followed. If something just doesn't feel right, there's probably a good reason, and your child should know to cause a scene, go inside of a building with trusted adults, and other ways to handle such a situation. Teach your child the importance of not wandering off. It is easy to get lost, and there are so many dangers out there that exist for a child on their own. Teach your child how to look out for suspicious vehicles. A suspicious vehicle is one that is driving too closely or slowly, one that is trying to make contact with the kids, or one that is otherwise acting in a suspicious manner. If someone attempts to grab your child, telling them to fight back, as long as a weapon isn't involved, is always ideal. Hitting, kicking, and screaming, biting, falling to the ground, and scratching may cause a predator to escape due to fear of someone hearing the commotion. Always keep a watchful eye on your child. It is amazing what can happen in a matter of seconds. You should never take your eyes off your child because that split second could be so very costly and detrimental. Kids and Sports Safety Sports are an important part of being a kid. Many teams are available for both kids, both in and out of school. Sports participation provides an ample number of benefits to both children and parents as it teaches children team building skills, builds self-esteem, keeps them fit and active, and allows them to bloom into wonderful social beings as they have fun participating in an activity they love to enjoy. However, sports are also dangerous. In 2013, more than 1.9 million children were seen by a doctor due to an injury sustained while playing a sport. Minimizing sports injuries is something that any parent can and should do to help protect their child as they play in their favorite sporting activity. Eye protection. Glasses and goggles are two of the most commonly used forms of eye protection worn by children participating in sports such as tennis, football, and hockey. While there are several different types of eyeglasses, goggles available, polycarbonate eyeglasses provide the best protection against injuries to the eyes. It is the only material that has been tested for use in sporting activities. Mouth guards. The use of mouth guards is recommended for children to protect their teeth, the tongue, and the mouth while playing in contact sports such as volleyball, martial arts, and basketball. A dentist can create a mouth guard custom fitted to your child's mouth. However, average size guards are sold at many sports stores. Helmet use. The use of a helmet is important when playing most sports, including baseball, football, softball, and wrestling. Helmets help protect the skull and the brain from injury and serious damage. A number of different helmets are available. Many of these helmets are designed for use by players in a specific sport, so do keep this in mind when making your selection. Additionally, choosing a helmet that meets or exceeds the standards set forth by the Consumer Product Safety Commission is desirable. Padding. Padding for the elbows, knees, and wrists are available. The guards can prevent strains and sprains, as well as serious bruises and pain from falls to the ground. Children participating in any sport can benefit from the use of padding. A sports cup is an additional form of padding for boys to keep their private areas protected during contact sports. Be a fair sport. You play to win the game, and anything less is very disappointing to most, regardless of the sport. However, teaching your child that it is okay to lose the game sometimes as well as how to play fairly with his teammates is an important part of playing sports. Along with enhancing the experience enjoyed while playing sports, teaching your child how to play fairly can reduce injury and accident during the game. Children who are upset, anxious, or angry while playing a sport are more likely to cause an injury even without trying. By avoiding the buildup of the frustration and playing fairly, everyone enjoys a safe and fun game without injuries included. Sports Safety Tips Sports physicals are required to be completed before students are allowed to participate in school sports in many cases, but it is a good idea to have a physical performed either way. A sports physical ensures that your child is in good health that allows them to enjoy the sometimes physical extremes brought on by playing sports. Hydration is important when playing sports outside and when practicing. When the days are their hottest, water or a sports enhancement drink, such as Gatorade or Powerade, ensure that your child doesn't become overheated. Ensure that your child is aware of the importance of staying well hydrated when practicing or playing sports. Stretching before and after sports are extremely important. Stretching releases muscle tension, reduces the risk of strains and tears on the ligaments and muscles. If your child does experience an injury, keep them out of the game until the injury has properly healed. Going back to the scheme of things before an injury has time to heal will only cause more injuries to the area and cause more pain. Game rules and techniques are in place for a reason. 
It is imperative that both you and your child are aware of the rules and follow them precisely. No one is immune to any of the rules and breaking of them could potentially lead to the injury of a child. Attend sports safety clinics held in your area. Taking a day or two per week off from playing, including practice, is recommended to give the muscles a break and time to recover. The National Council on Youth Sports Safety is a nonprofit organization offering additional advice and information that can help you protect your child during sports. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.